Hello, everyone. So, two days ago, I spoke with you about how did they use the artifacts to climb to rank 1 in the arena. And, actually, I could hold it like for 2 or 3 days, but... Well, the game is lagging so much, it's the restart. Anyway, so I could hold it, and um, I actually was beaten easily because my opponents have higher power than me. But anyway, it doesn't matter. So... Now we're gonna spoke about the event of the artifacts because luckily we have now an event. I was quite um, fast when I bought it the first day of the event because I already bought the red artifacts on the first day and I missed this rebate event. But anyway, <clears throat> as you can see here, I already bought this uh, artifacts deal. Um, it was on sale. And now I have like a total of 135 pieces of Stellar Gem. And we actually have a couple of good other events. Um, this Activity Dragon event, the Magic Pass, it's, it's always here actually. Um, this uh, Crystal Soul event, and in general a couple of good events. So anyway, this video I'm gonna take you through um, applying the event to reach uh, 7500 points. So, my personal opinion is, the ideal amount to reach in this event is 7500 points. 9500 is fine if you are a big spender, but 7500 for me is ideal because I just get 10 of these uh, as a reward, and um, I get to buy like 8 of it, so it's for me it's ideal. Maybe if you are a big spender it's not ideal for you, you, you need to reach for 9500. I see players in our server reaching like um, over... 10,000. I don't know why, but um, yeah, they are actually big spenders. So, anyway, so now um, we're going to apply it on Domia and try it in the arena, a couple of battles, and see how it goes. So, basically, you see how I apply it. Sometimes I apply it on the event, like I, I, I get the 7500 points in the event by using the Dragon Shop or the Divine Tower Shops anyway, sometimes I have even like 400,000 and it's easy for me. Other times I just buy from here in the Artifact uh, Treasure and some other times I just use this um, uh, event rule of having like advancing an Artifact and getting 1800 points. So now we're going to upgrade Dumia, so let's start now with him. Now the Unicorn. Advance, yep. And now this one, we'll advance it. Wait. And now this one, also advance. So now he have a full red artifact. He gained quite a good amount of power with it. And now let's see here in the event how much point did I have? Well, any 1700 more. Let's claim the rewards. Seeing how much I have here left. So actually I claim the rewards based on how much I have. So basically I'll go back here and check in the artifacts and check um, how many pieces do I have in general. The material here. So we have Dragon the Least and Phoenix. So we're claiming those two. And anyway, um, Unicorn will be the reward. We ha we're having here like um, here, I think. Yeah, we're having here like um, 40 pieces of uh, this unicorn for free, or oh, not for free. It's for four thousand. But I'm not buying it. But anyway, so we're buying phoenix and unicorn in this case. So let's go for unicorn here, and more unicorn. And a couple of Phoenix. And now we need to spend more to get to the 7500 points. Now I'm, I love to buy those things. This unicorn box. This one. Oh, useful. That's also useful. That's also useful. And the big deal. Also useful. Now this one I'm not buying, really I'm not buying, because 
I don't need it for now. So let's go back, open the chests and see how much we need to spend to get the 7500 mark. Now here, open everything together. Oh. Well, 5800. Okay, we still need around like 1200, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, 1400, right? So basically, we're, we're gonna buy like more um, treasures from here. I'm really upset about that because I didn't want to spend the event anymore but anyway let's for now i will buy for i will buy later to decide what do i need to buy i need to check what i have all everything i have basically so i'm gonna buy later but anyway for now let's check domia in the arena and see how is he doing after um getting like getting him a red artifact piece so let's try gradually in sweden first so I'm gonna use a speed up of the battle to see how will it go. I don't see a big difference at the very beginning, but hopefully by the end of the battle I'll I will see like some difference in the result because usually my team is actually having less power than his team make him having more higher chances to beat me actually so it is quite hard for me to win plus he's using a defensive team with flint so that increases the odds of losing but seems like i won here i think or lost because of times but actually won that's good Now the next battle, actually I was recording but the video was cut because someone called me. So anyway, I will I will do the last battle again one more time. So I'm trying now on on Titans. He's using the magical team with Valkyrie and I will imitate his team and use the same heroes as him. So he's using uh, Valkyrie Pyre. I have to remove a Cation from here. So Valkyrie. Empire. And now let's see how it go. When I tried the first time, when the video was cut, I actually won, but it's not a guarantee won because, well, his power is higher and my odds of losing are way more than my odds of winning. So, as you can see, let's watch the result at the end. My pyre died, so it seems like here most likely I lost because my pyre died first. It's actually a game changer somehow. But the hell is that? I won. Before applying the red artifact in Dumia, I used to lose against against his team. But anyway, now this team with Aurora. So this team is actually unbeatable in the world map. No matter what you try to do, it's unbeatable, I think. It only loses with the fatigue. But anyway, we will try it and see the result. I'm gonna use Sonics this time because actually his ability power increased by the battle. But hopefully he doesn't die early. But let's see the result. Probably this team always win. Like, um, the team with Aurora always win because of the time. It has just crazy healing. And it's very hard to win against it. But, um... Yeah, two heroes left, but they will be so tough to beat. God damn it. 
Such an overpowered team. Almost. Just because of time. Well, this team is annoying, but actually I like it. But they should add one more heal like Domia to be the healing teams. So let's try one more time. Um, what should I use? Interesting. Let's try using um, some um, here which remove shields. So I'm gonna go with Snow Owl and and perhaps Snow Owl and Sonics. And let's see. I'm making the battles quickly because I don't want you to get bored with the video. So that way it's better to watch more videos uh, more sorry more battles in less time so let's speed up how would it go interesting i think with akari it was better when i was using akari in the place of hedwig but anyway crazy overpower team actually this was at the end. Obviously, the battle is over, it's lost because 20 seconds left and um, they are healing in a crazy way. And that is interesting actually. Yep, lost. So let's try again. So I use Snow Owl. It seemed that the result with uh, Teresa is better. Mm. We have one last try, but, but without any defense, I guess the team is having more chances of losing. But full mage team, what can we do? With the exception of Dumia, he's a marksman, but. He's buffing the AP, so I guess it's fine. Hopefully they just they don't die quickly, that's all. Don't know why a cat is sitting in the front row. And it, it, it was stupid doing it without Ophelia or Pyre. You always need one of them in your team when you're attacking. Teresa is almost dying also. Also, like, it's always the time. Always the time. Okay. So, um, let's try one more time. This is just the most competitive team I found in the arena, so I need to try and try it. So, um... What should we use this time? Seizo? No, 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 that's bad candy. Haley. Mm. Let's go for Pyre. And... This Dunkild, or... I forgot her name, Valkyrie Dunkild. So let's go ahead. I think, yeah, this team seems fine, but I bet it will be a loss because of time one more time. Just one and a half minutes are not enough to beat this team. Also losing. That is actually a good material to make a video about. That guy is actually is my friend, and um, he told me about this team. 
like I asked him about it and he told me like he used it in the world map and it's so strong in the world map but anyway that's enough for this video I guess um, the team was amazing and um, actually we tried a couple of good battles and we saw the difference between Dumia before and after no big difference but in higher ranks and in world map there is a big difference you can see it like by more like by more um, let's say by more time but anyway that's all for this video i guess and you can write me down which team can we use to be this uh master p team we have listia flint aurora of any empire and i basically have the same team but i have it like with a weaker aurora so you have it like 1 million 800 2000 if i apply it i would have it um how much i guess 1 million 700 i think not more than this so let's see flint or one one million seven thirty so it's more like seventy thousand difference in power anyway that's it for this video i hate, <laughs> I hate your lineup okay they, they feel me anyway so um that's all for this video write me what do you want me to discuss the next time and give me an ideas about how to beat um, this guy team it's an amazing team he's not an opponent actually but but actually I'm interested to beat this team because I don't like seeing some team which is unbeatable so that's all for this video and thank you for watching share it with your friends by the way